Hi everyone, this is Swiss from Geekar and welcome to this basic one-on-one Git lesson using Tortoise Git. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Tortoise Git GUI client to run some basic Git commands against your repository. So let's get started, right? So I'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop and name it like Git demo. Then I'm gonna initialize a git repository in these folders. To do that I can simply use the command prompt to say that initialize a git repository here like uh, first I have to go to my folder which is git demo then I can say git init but uh, I can use the tortoise git client and say git create repository here so it will initialize a git repository in this folder so it is done now i have to add a new file so that i can add this in my repository and push it to my remote repository so to do that uh, let me create a new file in this folder so let me fire up my visual studio code and then i'll say that let me create a HTML file which has a header tag and the header tag will say hi. Okay, I'm done. It will prompt me to save this file. Okay, let's name it index.html. So I'm done. Let me check it if it's working yes it is working it's saying hi so let me add this file to git to do that all you have to do is to go to tortoise git then add and it will uh, find all the untracked file in here in this repository and prompt you to add it from here so i'm gonna add it uh, say okay so it will add this file in my repository now i have to commit this changes in my report repository to do that i'm gonna say commit uh, it will uh, ask me to enter some uh, enter some commit messages so let me say it's a fast commit then i'm gonna say commit and then i'll say push it to my remote branch so uh, if I say OK now, it will say remote name must not be empty. That's because I don't have a remote branch or a remote repository. To create that, I'm gonna go to GitHub and say new repository here. Then I'm gonna name it git demo. Then say create repository. Uh, so my repository is created. Uh, now you can uh, get the URL of this repository copy it and then configure it in your tortoise GUI client so to do that uh, you can go to manage then paste the url and it will say it's a remote origin now you have to add this uh, remote origin and say okay now i have a um, remote repository uh, connected to this local repository so i'm gonna say okay so it will push all my changes to my remote branch so let me check if it's if it's working so okay it's done so let me refresh it and as you can see my index.html file is uh, pushed to my remote repository so let me create a new branch right so I'm gonna say Toto is great git switch checkout then I'm gonna click on this ellipsis button then I'm gonna create a branch on this on this local head repository so uh, and let me name it branch one and say switch to this branch and this will, the branch will be created from the master branch so okay 
close 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 now i am in the master branch so let me change something in this master branch to do that i'm gonna go here and change this from hi to hello and let me commit this change in this branch say so i'm gonna say uh, hi is changed to hello right i'm gonna say commit then i'll push it again uh, i want to push this in my branch one uh, it will automatically create this branch on the remote and push my changes on that branch so i'll say okay so after it is done there will be a branch here so it is done let me refresh it and as you can see i have a new branch called branch one let me go to this branch or switch to this branch and let me see index.html contains hello or not and it is saying hello so let me create another branch right okay so i'm gonna say switch checkout then i'm gonna go here i'm gonna say create branch this branch will be created from the master not from this branch so be careful so i'm gonna say branch 2 and i'll switch to this branch so let me cancel cancel and i'm in branch 2 always check if uh, whether you are on branch 1 or branch 2 or whatever branch you are working on from here uh, like you can see here that i am on branch 2 so in branch 2 i'm gonna change this header tag from saying hello to what can i say sayonara and save it then i'll commit my changes on this branch and say that I have the changes uh, which was high in my master and this branch is coming from the master branch so uh, I'll say hi is changed to sayonara then I'll say commit push again I'll I want to push these changes in my branch too so let me see if i have this branch now so it is done i'll refresh my git hub and say go to branch 2 and as you can see it is sayonara and i'll go to master it is still high so okay so i want to merge this branch 2 to my master branch or say yeah uh, then i want to merge my branch one to master to do that let me show you how uh, i'm gonna go to git commit uh, daughter's git and then i'll say rebase right so uh, then i'll try to reverse my local branch to my remote branch two so as you can see nothing need to be rebased so i'll go reverse my local branch to remote master branch and this is uh, also saying that uh, nothing to base so, so that's good i won't get any march conflicts so when i want to march this branch to my master so to do that i'm gonna go to switch and check out to my master branch and I'll merge the branch to with this master and push it so what I have to do is to go to Tortoise gate and say merge and then I'll have to say branch 2 and I'll say okay so it is um, as you can see it should be saying sayonara and I am in master branch because I got all the changes from branch 2 to my master so I'm gonna commit this uh, no you don't have to commit this right now because your branch 2 is already merged to your master branch so all you can do is now is to push these changes so I'm gonna push this to my master and 
and when it's done you will see that master is saying sayonara here cause I merge my branch to my, to my master branch so I'll refresh it and as you can see it's saying sayonara so now if you want to merge your branch 1 to this master branch you will get a merge conflict cause when you created the branch 1 uh, the checkpoint was uh, saying like hi but now it is saying sayonara cause you already pushed your branch to changes in master so of course you will get a <coughs> pardon me of course you will get a merge conflict here so you will have to deal the merge conflict on yourself a git will won't help you in this case cause it is not intelligent enough to uh, resolve merge conflict for you uh, so let me see how i can resolve merge conflict so what i have to do now is to let me try um, merging this to my Mm, branch one so I'll say okay as you can see this is uh, getting me some conflict and here you can click on re resolve to resolve this merge conflict so let me see uh, I'll press on resolve uh, this saying the commit you are composing is a special commit um, you can resolve the uh, conflict from here but I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to switch to my branch 2, uh, branch 1 and sorry this uh, thing is already containing uh, your changes from branch 1 so what you can do is to revert all the changes so I don't want to resolve this merge conflict in this master branch I'm gonna resolve this in my branch 1 branch so I'm gonna say okay then I'll go to my branch 1 and say okay now I can all I can do is uh, again rebase this branch with my remote master branch so let me first check if it uh, 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 let me first check if it contains any changes on this branch which I'm going to do is to rebase this local branch to remote branch one uh, as you can see there is nothing to rebase and now I'm gonna rebase this branch one to remote master branch so as you can see there is something to rebase so I'm gonna say I don't know if you can see that uh, but I'm gonna say start rebase and it is saying there is a merge conflict so I'm gonna resolve it by hand so you can resolve it from here uh, you can say edit conflicts and it will show you side by side which is your changes and which change you want to store but uh, I'm not uh, good with this kind of uh, side by side checking what I'm going to do is to go to my index and then as you can see here the head branch is uh, contains sayonara and uh, this remote branch uh, contains uh, uh, sorry this uh, local branch is uh, containing hello but the remote branch is uh, contains uh, sayonara so which change do you want to save so let me say I want to save hello so what I'm going to do is to uh, keep the hello and save this file then I'll go here and say this is resolved you can also do this uh, resolve by uh, resolve the conflict using there so it will take the uh, remote changes and resolve config using mile it will take the local changes which is in this case we are doing we are uh, taking the local changes which is hello so I'm going to say commit I'm going to say resolved and this file is resolved uh, and I'll say commit okay so this is done right so what I'm going to do is to go now to my master branch 
and now if I want to merge this master branch with my branch one it will not show me any merge conflicts it will just get merged so uh, I'll say merge merge this master branch with branch two please or should I say branch one please I'll say okay now it is branch uh, merged and as you can see now my must local master contains hello not sayonara so as you can see this is my master branch this contains sayonara but uh, in my local master this contains hello so I'm gonna push these changes to my master so what I'm going to say is again just push the changes so this is going to git push and we are done and as you can see now my master contains hello so as you can see this is a uh, pretty much easy um, if you are not familiar with mar uh, git march or git rebase which uh, both of which i just show you uh, you can um, go to this uh, url that is uh, www.atlassian.com slash git slash tutorials merging versus rebasing so you can uh, get a simple idea on the difference between merging and rebasing uh, and uh, since i rebased or uh, in simple word since i rebased uh, all my uh, commits are commit history are now linear so let me show you what I just mean uh, as you can see this uh, graph is linear if you did march instead of rebasing uh, your what can I say your uh, commit graph would have been broken so in this case rebasing is a uh, good uh, but uh, there is some uh, discussions among the community which is good which is bad so I'll let you uh, I study on those uh, things uh, I'm done with this uh, video so I'm gonna say bye <laughs> so happy coding